Okay, I've got a short video for you guys today on checking coil. That's technically a magneto, but they're commonly referred to as a coil on older small engines. This is a generator I bought at an auction. Um, I imagine it got shoved back where it was sitting because it wouldn't run. Uh, put fresh gas in it, tuned it up, you know, air filter, oil change, all that stuff. Pulled it over and didn't start. So I got to investigating and uh, had no spark. Uh, I went ahead and cleaned this stuff and reset the gap on there and that did not fix it. So my next step is going to be to uh, test this coil. And to do that, you do not need a fancy multimeter like this. A $10 one will do the job. But uh, you go ahead and you set it to ohms. And then uh, select your range, which is uh, 20K. I have an audio setting on mine, so when I touch these together, it should beep. Okay, the idea here is simple. Take one end of your testers and shove it in the spark plug end. I'm going to hold it up against something and then touch these. You should have continuity through here. If you do not have continuity, these are two separate sides. You see how they're separated by this little piece of plastic. You should have continuity and there should be resistance and I if it's on the 20K setting, it should be above 2.5. Anything higher is better. Anything lower is bad. That means it's bleeding off. But we'll go ahead and see what happens. Scratching it. Not getting anything. Okay. I suspect that it is a dead coil. Go ahead and make sure I got a good connection there. Yeah, I got nothing. So it is a dead coil. I know it's dead because, like I said, you should have continuity through here. This also acts as a continuity tester. You touch these together and it beeps. Those are supposed to have continuity through them and through that plug. So no continuity, no good. Quick and easy way to test them.